Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of the uh, Netflix original film, Enola Holmes. Enola Holmes is a okay film. I, I found the first act to be lackluster. Because it was just, like, um, very boring, the first act. Which, literally, the first act is, like, Enola talking to us, and then uh, Sherlock and what what's his brother's name? The other Watson. Or not Watson, sorry. The other Holmes. So it's, like, the two of them talk, discussing about where their mother could be. And, by the way, the mother, which in the first act is the A plot line, turns out to not even be a B plot line. It's literally just a there's your mother type thing. You know what I mean? It's literally like all the, all the trailers. I want to find my mother. I want to find my mother. And that kickstarts the adventure. But it's not even a real mystery at the end of the day because they don't solve anything. They're just like, oh, I left you because because I'm sorry. You know, That was literally the final scene. It was like, I left you because I'm sorry I left you. You know, type thing. Really, it's about saving this uh, saving this guy. And there was no mystery, you know, real mystery about it. Everything was plain and simple. It was, like, simply the mother wants... The, the grandmother hires an assassin to kill this guy. And there's no... Like, it's it's no mystery. It's... Like, Enola does no... What's it called? Mystery solving. It's all... Everything stumbles upon her. Everything gets revealed to her instead of her revealing it. You know what I mean? The grandma... It's not like she figured out the grandmother worked for the villain. Or, no, it, it's, it, she didn't figure out that the grandmother was evil. The grandmother said, I'm evil. I, I'm going to kill my grandson. You know? It wasn't like she found the assassin. No, the assassin found her. Or whatever. And, 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 so, and not, so it was not like there was any mystery. It was just stumbling upon some stumbling upon this and this. I mean, I will say, I laughed a little bit on this film. And, I mean, it wasn't, like, the second third act, it wasn't boring. Uh, like, the first act. And, I mean, I really like, you know, uh, Henry Cavill's Sherlock Holmes, so I would, you know, I, I wish they would do more with him, but, um, again, what was frustrating, it was, like, you, this this self-proclaimed A plotline is really not even a B plotline. It's, like, not even a C plot. It's the, the, the whole thing about the mother, which is all odded me the most about this film, is it's not, it was just, she stumbled out of nowhere in, like, the, not even at the third act, like the final scene, you know, and sh and and if you wanted to say anybody solved the finding, if if anybody wanted to solve the finding mother, um, case, it was Sherlock Holmes, cause she he basically solved a riddle. He gave a riddle right for Anola to solve. So it, it's it's I don't know, but I will say if the I know I, it was. Is this a hit or miss for Netflix? I don't know, because I had fun with it. You know, once you get into, like, the juice of the story. Um, and I think everybody's great in it, or great, you know, performance-wise. So, it's tricky. I wish, I think this is a great universe and a great characters um, to do more, whether you talk about the mother or Sherlock or Enola or the brother or whatever the brother's name is, so forgettable. Anyways, but I think there's this universe is, I guess, you know, the, the, the Sherlock universe is, for the most part, ripe for characters. So if you if you wanted to do more, I'd be up to it. I, I just think you have to improve on actually having a good, solvable, solvable mystery and actually stick to it. You know what I mean? And actually solve the mystery. Because I think the biggest problem was, like, there was no mystery solving. And this is, it might not be a Sherlock film, but it's a, it's still a Holmes film. And they were trying to make it seem like some sort of mystery, but they, everything revealed itself, as opposed to a Nola, a Nola revealing it. But I did like the f breaking the fourth wall aspect um, a little bit. It made it fresh and unique. So I enjoyed this film, the second two acts. The first act, I thought was really boring. But, anyways, stay tuned for more videos coming right at you. And, and if this was a hit or miss for um, Netflix, I would say hit um, in, in the sense that I enjoyed it. But again, it's not like the best Netflix I've ever done. It's not old guard, old guard level, and it's not Irishman level. It's more of the project power level where it, uh, where it was good. But it wasn't great, you know, it felt like a Netflix film, you know. 
Whereas, I think Old Guard and Irishman just felt more cinematic, you know? But anyways, stay tuned for more videos coming at you.